Hey guys, what's up? It's Shadow Reaper here, formerly known as Reaper God. Um, I know in my last video my name was Reaper's Shadow, but I've changed it again, and this will be the last name change, so we won't have to worry about that again. But yeah, so anyway, um, so I was just wandering around in Fallout 4 here. Of course, you guys know it's one of my top favorite games. <laughs> um, and I found this weird little icon here. It looks like a radiation symbol, so I figured I would see what it was. Of course, I got my trusty companion along here with me. Hey. Say hi, yeah. McCready. Alright. Good boy, now I don't have to hit you in the face. <laughs> Alright. So let's just see what's going on with this. I'm in my I'm in my Brotherhood power armor too, by the way, with the jetpack on it. Put the gun down so you can see the whole thing there. I'd love to read the real estate brochure for this place. Pretty cool. <laughs> That's funny. Real estate brochure. Um let's see. You need not hide. I am one of the Alright, so yeah, that sneaky approach didn't really go that well, so. I'm going to hide from these assholes now. Well, looks like they're about to forget about me. See, that's not gonna work for me. Goodbye. So I guess this is these child, these children of Adam freaks. All right, well, I'm gonna have to cleanse this place of them. Funny froze. Definitely had a lot of gamma guns. Uh, 
chemistry station. Downstairs, so we might as well just go ahead and see what's down here. Oh, here we go. There we go. All right, that's pretty cool. Insect repellent special. Awesome. Awesome. All right. And that was definitely worth going down there for. Um. Now we got this little house here. Which it looks like it has. don't know after huge battles or just even after you clear a place there is usually a trunk to loot exactly like that one children I'll read this we've sent our faithful to the tower on the cliff they will create a beacon to call forth Adam's children to rejoin us in the glow even the heretics shall be made to participate in the great division. Let us bask in the divine glow of Adam. Uh-huh. Yeah. No. <laughs> Alright. Don't care about that. I'll go ahead and deactivate their lights just because they're annoying. Um... You know what? Don't tell me how to stay alive, McCready, okay? I'll hit you in the face with this gun. I live in radiation. What the hell are you talking about? Alright, let's see. What the hell? What the hell? Is this a plane? It is a plane. What the hell? See, nothing wrong with a little radiation. I've never discovered. Interesting.
know what this place is, but it's pretty cool. Um, some loot to take. A chair to sit in if I wasn't in the armor. Um, it's even got an upstairs, really. Well, it did at one time, I'm guessing, but not now. Is that a boat? Bet you it is a boat. Yep, sure enough. Been down here a long time, too. I think, yeah, it's about... It's scraped into the ocean floor, damn. But now we gotta find some way to get up there. To it. Ha 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 ha! I love his comments. They're just so funny. Okay, there is something in there. Why can I not get in there? Do I have to go around this way? Yep, sure do. Um. Oh, I guess there's nothing in here. Still a pretty cool find though, I mean you don't see that every day. Um Alright, hang on now that I got my rockets back. Alright, that must be that beacon of light they were talking about. Um We're gonna have to walk underwater again for a minute. Is that a car? It was. A crate? What the hell? Years ago. Yeah, it's really awesome. This playthrough, I've actually just not really fast traveled that much. And walked around the map a lot and discovered a lot of things that are not even marked on your map that are pretty cool. They don't mark everything on your map. Um, And I'm so excited for Fallout 76. Um, because, I mean, if this map, I mean, if this map is this big right here, imagine four times that. I mean, that is a big ass map. I mean, come on now. So, I mean, there's gonna be, I mean, they've already said there's literally hundreds of places to explore in that game. So, and for people who don't know, if you haven't heard about Fallout 76 or haven't kept up with the news, it's gonna have a lot of cool weapons. It's gonna have every like everything you couldn't build in here that you wanted to build. Um, and the best part of it is it's completely online, so you and your friends can now play Fallout. So, and if you don't really want to play with people, there's only 24 people to a server right now, and on a map four times as big as this one, I really don't think that we're going to have to worry about that too much, but, but yeah, so... Alright, so we found this. I need not be afraid. At all. Now what we're gonna do is since we found this right here. I 
I'm gonna go over to Nuka World here. That's the Nuka World DLC. And I'm going to be claiming this outpost for my raiders. Huh. Mm All right. Sorry about that load screen. All right. Um. Yeah, and I'll tell you in another video what I did with all this Nuka World and such. Um, right now. Something I can do for you? There another settlement you want to help? Let's see. Looking to run a job. We're going to run a job, and I'm going to take over that place we just found at Kingsport Lighthouse. Um, a new outpost. I want to get one set up. Got it. So how'd you want to approach it? Talk them into leaving yourself? Or you and the crew putting some lead in them? Alright. For this, we're going to wipe out. Will do. And which gang you want to join you on the job? Uh, t -t 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 let's see here. Let's go with. T -t 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 -t. Mm. The operators. The operators. Deal. They'll be waiting for you. So, where do you want to do this? Oh, I, I'm thinking Kingsport Lighthouse. <laughs> Let me... Alright. Yeah, that one will do. So you know how this job works. Head to the target, put down anything that moves. I'll make sure you've got some backup waiting to lend a hand when you get there. Give All those right. suckers hell. Alright, now... So now what we're going to do is one, we're going to go back to the Commonwealth. And we're going to take that outpost, but it won't be for no stupid settlers. It'll be for my raiders. Alright, so what we're going to do is we're just going to fast travel to Crater House again, because we just cleared it, so they shouldn't be back yet. Because these enemies respawn, uh, like, a while after you kill them. So do, like, materials and money and, or bottle caps and stuff in here, so. It goes both ways. <clears throat> Excuse me. lighthouse again and we're gonna wipe these pricks out <clears throat> now I don't recommend doing this if you're like a level 10 or 20 going facing these children of Adam freaks because their weapons will like destroy you in seconds if you try it but 
I'm a level 76, I believe. And, uh, let's see. What level am I? Level 80. No, I'm a level 80, okay. So you can see I'm like pretty high up here. Hell out of here. Alright. Oh, yeah, that was a nice one. Goodbye. I'm just gonna walk up and hit you in the face. Goodbye. And I've got this perk that <laughs> lets me pick up caps because when I kill them, they burst into caps a lot of times. Um, alright, you know what? We're gonna use Adam's Judgment to cleanse Adam's followers here. Alright. And by the way, this is something you get from the Far Harbor DLC. Um,. You're wondering where it came from. Hello, prick. How are you today? Oh, yeah, there we go. That's better. Alright, as you can see in here, there's all kinds of explosions going on. Ah, you won't stop me either. Uh, yeah, literally so much explosions going on right here. Um, I love that this like gives off a green glow too. That's pretty cool. All right. Uh, hello, prick. Get out of here. Ah, ha, 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 ha. All right. Alright, uh, viable blood samples, we want that. I didn't mean to take that, whatever that was, but whatever. Um, now is there anything in here? A mini new. And see, this is why you check everywhere for everything. Um, I, I don't know what is going on down there, but... Hang on. Bastard. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> Alright. Um that clean them up. Alright. Okay, that's an operator. And by the way, you always wanna dismember their heads. It's a sign of disrespect to them. Alright, um So yeah, oh look, oh look at that, looks like they killed the traitors that were here. Um, that's my job, not theirs. Um, let's see. Well, the settlers, because you don't want to kill traitors and like, you know, store owners and all that, vendors and all that. Like seriously, you don't want to kill them, of course, but. Um, yeah. Alright. I see you, bitch. And you're gonna get yours. Oh, there we go. <laughs> there we go. Nuke a grenade, hell yeah. Um, alright. So now we cleaned all that up. Um, there's a safe here. Obviously everything in that belongs to me. Um...
I thought there was a chest or something here, but I might just be thinking of something else. Um. Yeah, I don't think there is. Um. I think that's something else I'm thinking about. <clears throat> All right. So now we can use the workshop here. What we're gonna do real quick is clean all this mess out for one thing. Okay, all this junk can go. We don't need that. Um, this is actually at a good place because this is very well defended. Like no one can come from down there or up there and get you unless they're coming right through here they're not going to be able to kill you in here if, if you're working on something um should enemies invade or, or anything like that all right so what we're going to do is we're going to clean all this area up right here get rid of all this crap that's laying around because it's ruined now anyway um all these little trees and such can go um i do leave the big ones just because I don't know you don't want it to be really bare um, but all this crap can go um, especially all these things in the way um, this fence uh, can go junk um, this trucks destroyed so it can go um, now this right here, I deleted the first time I played this and you don't want to do that because this is, in my opinion, an excellent place to, for, for you to, you know, take cover and defend. So, now this can go. This isn't any good right here. Um, these trees right here. Um, I don't know. I guess they kind of provide a, a tiny, tiny bit of cover, but I just leave them there because with that wall, I mean, it looks it looks good to me. I mean, I don't know. Um, let's see. The chair can just stay there. Um, the dog bowl does not need to be outside here, so we're just going to shove that in here somewhere. Um, I always like to put this stuff kind of on things um try to empty all this crap um this terminal the beacon oh okay okay so this is okay this is them about the beacon all right it says we have been charged by our brothers and sisters at the crater to lead others to bask in the glow we have brought in those strong with adam's blessing to provide a beacon at the top of this tower their light shall draw the believers. The faithful should pray at the tower, then continue their pilgrimage to the crater. Praise be to Adam. Alright. Um, heretics. It would seem that the beacon has also drawn heretics who must be shown the glory of Adam. Those who will not join us must be cleansed. Then we may use them to feed the blessed in the tower. All glory unto Adam. Okay. Alright, well... I killed all them, so that really doesn't matter. Um, yeah. Alright. Uh, pictures and crap that fell off the wall. Get rid of it. Um, the safe. Of course we want this. Um. Yes. Alright. Uh, anything else in here? Fridge. See, these fridges are a pain because they're forever stuck open. So, what you do with that is you just get rid of it all together because it ain't no good. Um, the vodka on the counter if you want. Set this back up. Uh, set this back up. Uh, see, I like things to be nice and tidy and clean they can be and we got like corpses on the table and everything get the hell off there all right you know what actually what we're gonna do we're just gonna throw him out the window if he'll fit um i bet he will I bet we can throw him out the window there yeah get out the window come on now come on go out the window there we go 
Alright. Alright, and the preacher here, he can go. Throw him out that window. Because they just don't need to be in here. They're just making the room ugly. Alright, the gamma gun, we'll take and pick up. Um, things like this. Um can uh, oh I can't use that one okay okay that wouldn't even go on. all right what you want to do with this is pull it out a little bit in fact you know what since we got rid of the fridge we can just turn this into a totally different like kitchen and stuff and add a chair and you know whatever you want really I mean it's up to you um but me, I never use, although I have pre-war items because of my DLCs, because I bought, I've got all the DLCs, I never use pre-war anything in these kind of places because you want that look of just, it, it's been here forever, you know, it's been here for 200 years. So, I mean, you just want that look, you know, you, you walk in, it's like, holy shit, this place is a dump. But you want that because it's out in the middle of the waste here. But this is kind of going to be like, it's a tiny outpost out in the middle of the waste. So like this can, you know, can stay here or it could go, you know, it's, it's whatever. Um, now this crap here isn't any good um, because it's broken. Um, that isn't any good umbrella stand. Things like this, unless you can pick them up and like put them back um see the rug um and someone's head can again go out the window so I mean I like to kind of change it around you know kind of redecorate it a little bit um I'll leave the blood on the floor because it looks nice <laughs> see like things like this really don't need that much attention to be honest with you but so things like the couch that are a little crooked can be fixed um up here oop, looks like we still have traps so we're gonna disarm that um And once again, you see, it's just... So this place is basically made for two people. Now, I don't know how many's here now, but I'm thinking at least three. Yeah, three. Okay. So what we'd have to do... For now... Because you do want walls here. but not concrete walls. Um, what we want here is warehouse walls. Uh, I think. Alright, well, what we're going to do is we're going to give it a little character here. See, for things like this... things like this what we'll do is we'll use the concrete and we'll use one of these thin walls So 
sometimes it's tricky to get it to do what you want. Um, and then we'll just attach two poles to it here. And then we'll put two poles. I mean, you know what? It, it really doesn't even need it on that because you just need a little wall for the privacy here. So you don't even have to worry about this. I wish I could just scrap this, tell you the truth. That is one thing I do hope they do with Fallout 76. I mean, they're doing a lot of cool stuff, but I hope they let us scrap like all this kind of crap that that we don't need. Like, you know, this clutter here, not not the bed, but but the clutter here on the floor. Like, it, it, it just gets in the way, you know? It's just... I mean, can't we have a clean house in the apocalypse? You know, come on now. Um, <laughs> you know, anyway, um, I, I bet seriously, I really do hope they do that. All right. Now, we're gonna do that right like that. And for now, because we don't have, um, anything figured out, with the bed situation they can just sleep there now that's got the three beds now for your defense what you want to do pure and simple just turrets I, I wouldn't even waste time with the guard posts because one you have to assign a person to them and these turrets will take out people a lot quicker than a person can um, so what we're going to do is basically have two turrets here and right here you're going to have one also and then you're going to have one parked right here. Now, for our water, what you want to do is just use these little pumps if you want. Um, I mean, w I mean, we could use. We could use a water purifier industrial if we want, but then. Like, this is just so much more practical. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to place this right about here. Now, what we're going to do here, we're just going to, how much power does it take? Four. Okay, so we're going to do a f one that does five. And of course, that's not going to fit right there with that. So, what we're going to do, because that's not just going to sit on the ground, it, it just doesn't look right. So, what we're going to do is we're going to pop some of these fancy floors in here. Um, is it sitting off the ground? Yeah, it is, ain't it? Um, Alright. But you want them like on the ground, so um, all right, perfect. All right, now we're just gonna move this whole thing over, right like that, to where it's flush with everything. All right, and now, now you, oh shit, really? Oh, we can't put that there, can we? Well, that sucks. Um, Alright, what we'll do then... Is we'll put this... Over here. But... We'll make it flush with it. And then we'll do the generator.
And there you go. Now for the food, I don't know if I have any on me at the moment. It looks like I have a few. So what you want to do with this is basically just Yeah, everything produces. Okay, yeah. What you want to do with this is just basically put it right along here. I guess. Th this place doesn't really have an area for farming. Um, you have to kind of make one. And then if you wanted to just put these here, I mean, it, it doesn't have to be perfect they just need some food so alright but also what you want for them is different like for now we'll just have a moonshine still <clears throat> Excuse me. Because I keep forgetting about that. Like, they don't do the food thing. So we don't really need that. Um, you got your little pick-me-up station here. Um, now that this is clear, we can just shove it right back in here if you want. Um, I, I love it. See, so pick pick me up station wrapping bar bar and everything's really cool um tribute chest I don't have that unlocked yet we will bring a nuka world transmitter here but we're gonna put it on this side of the house because you don't want this area to be too busy in fact let's make this turret kinda hide right here alright Alright, and see, now we can't even do that. Um, Alright, now you see, there we go. Alright, now we can just move it back. Alright. And if you wanted to do more, you could do these stores. But now these cost a lot of money. Like, this costs... About 600, 750 caps. Some of it's 100. I mean, it, it just depends. Um, this is just decorations and shit. Um, but since it's the Raiders, you know, it, it needs a blood trough somewhere. Um, this isn't any good. We can just get rid of that. Um, Alright, there we go. And that is the basics of the Raiders for an outpost, basically. Um... I mean, you could add, like, all these decorations if you wanted, I mean, but basically, that's how you do that, so, alright, <clears throat> alright, well, I hope you enjoyed the video, and, uh, if you, if you liked it, that's fine, if not, that's fine too, really doesn't matter, um, And you'll have a great day and s stay tuned for Fallout 76 because it's coming out November 14th and I will be getting it on that day. So, alright, well this has been another video by Shadow Reaper. It's my new name, I'm formerly Reaper God, but that's changed now, so it's Shadow Reaper now. And... Y'all have a great day and thanks for watching and this is Shadow Reaper saying peace out.